Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I just created a new JFrame for buy details. Okay, if you have not seen that video, just go to the description and check out the link. In this video, I am going to create a new JFrame for delete by part of billing management system project. Okay, so for that, first we need to close this application and now we have to create a new JFrame for that. Okay, so we are renaming it as delete delete and the buyer here we are writing okay clicking on finish now now the first thing okay it will taking a little bit time now we are increasing the size of this to 650 600 and we are setting it to the 450 okay now now first we going to the properties and removing close min max and buttons from this form and we are also setting the location where this form will be open okay so the x axis 380 and the y axis we are writing 160 okay just okay just close it now now here we need a label let me place a right click on this properties we are going to and here I'm selecting the icon delete by you can see and let me close this let me remove this label name from here after that we are placing it to the center a little bit okay now we need another icon a uh, uh, label here or you can say that icon so for that we are going to the properties and searching an icon here delete buyer okay Okay, let me search this buyer. Uh, delete buyer, delete buyer. Okay, here you can say that. Okay, let me close this. Let me remove the label name from there. Now, we are placing it a little bit up. Okay, now here we need a separator. Okay, here you see that. And now here we are placing it here. And uh, we are increasing the size of separator to the 580. Okay. After that, we need a, a label. Okay. Uh, we are searching uh, the U buyer by contact number. So here I'm writing contact number. And after that, we need a text field to get the text, or you can say the number from uh, admin, or you can say the user. Okay. After that, we need a button. To click on that it will execute it and search in our database so for that we are taking search and we are entering this text removing this and the first thing we are inserting the icon in it okay going to the properties search okay let me close this going to the properties making it bold 14 making it as bold 14 okay just close this and after that, we are also making it as bold 14. Okay. After that, we are also increasing the size of this label. Making it as bold 14. Now, here we also need uh, a separator again. Okay. So, we are moving to the swing menu. And here we place the separator, increasing the size to 6, uh, sorry, 580. Okay, it gets a little bit. Oh, okay. Now, now we need to display the data of this user. So for that, we are one by one taking the labels. The first one is for the name. Okay. Uh, the next one is for. Uh, the next one is for our contact number. We are displaying contact number. And for the next level, we are using for uh, email address. Okay. And uh, again, we are using next. Okay. Let me read this text. Address. Okay. And after that, Zender. Okay. Let me move this little bit down. Okay. Here I'm changing the label name is gender. Now for this we need a text field for every 
level here so let me place one by one okay text field 3 text field 4 text field 5 and at last text field 6 okay let me increase the size to 250 one one by one we are increasing the size of this all fields okay 251 251 okay uh, let me little bit move this to the right size of this okay now let me read this text one by one remove this removing this okay one by one okay uh, for the last we are removing this and after that we are making it as bold 14 okay right click on this going to the properties uh, here you get the option and here just need to bold 14 okay just close this and we also need to increase the size of this okay we are selecting one by one the label and right click on this and may move it for this and bold 40 okay just close this now now here we need a separator so we have to move to the string menu okay now we have to increase the sizes to 580 okay now let me now here we need three buttons okay the first button is for delete and the next button is for reset and the last button is for close this okay let me read this text and delete and the next button is for reset okay and the last button we are using for the close this form okay now one by one we are inserting the icon for this uh, the for icon we having delete delete one I guess no delete and the delete just we need to search the delete icon here I guess delete PNG you can see just close this I already provided the link for these icons so if you need that just go and download it okay reset PNG and the last one is for the close so the name is close j frame okay here this you can see that let me close this and let me increase the size of these buttons okay making it as bold 14 also making it as bold 14 okay just need to close this now i can see our form has been created now we have to insert an image in the background of this form so for that first right going to the set layout and we have click on absolute layout okay after that we are inserting a label here right clicking on this going to the properties and here I'm just selecting all page background image okay and placing it upon okay and let me remove the label name okay after that we are placing it a little bit right okay now now you can see our form has been created perfectly okay now first we are going to close button uh, here I'm setting the visible set visible and I'm setting the false okay after that we are setting for the reset button when will reset will clicked then it will be executed so we are first hiding our page so set visible we are setting false and after that we are setting new visible new delete by dot set visible true okay now the next part is the search okay so so search we are going to the event action action performed and here we have to write the codes so for before that first we are going to import our package import java dot sql dot asterisk okay after that we are importing import uh, project package in it and which having connection provide a class in it okay okay let me move to the button number one and in this we have to write the first we have to take the value from text field one 
so for that we are taking contact number equals to change text field one we are taking but get text here and after that we are using try catch okay catch in it and exception e we are taking and in the try we are writing connection connection con equals to connection provider i'm writing dot get con okay after that statement st equals to con dot create statement after that result set result set rs equals to st dot execute query here i'm writing and we need to select that so for that we are selecting select star from buyer buyer where contact number is equal equals to contact number we are taking and after that we are setting if rs dot next exist it means it select something in that case we are setting j text field to dot set text here we are displaying the data here one by one rs dot get string here we are writing and one by one we are copying this c okay five okay three four five six and for this we are writing two three four five because you can see our table here here you can see the table name contact number email address uh, address gender and here you can also see the sequence name contact number email address address you can see the gender okay uh, that's why we are setting in this way after that else condition we are writing here it may be the chance is the number is not in our database so in that case we are showing a message and we also first we need to set the disable we also need to disable our text field one dot set editable we are setting it to the false so that we cannot change okay so in that case we have to use a refresh button to change our contact number okay when it's searched okay now here i'm just writing contact contact number does not exist okay let me move it to a little bit up you can see that see the message and we not need to show the any exception but still i'm writing a g option and dot show message here uh let me display this null here okay now the search part has been completed now we have to move to the delete part so just clicking on this action action performed and in this we have to just delete that uh, selected number when we click on it for that int a first we also need to confirmation we need to keep the confirmation that yes we are setting yes and no option for that to delete for that we are using g option pan dot show confirmation dialog okay here i'm just setting null and here i'm just showing a message just let me here do you really want to do you want to delete okay i'm just writing and uh, after that we are setting select i'm writing sorry it should be in this select okay and after select we have to write j option pan dot show dot here i'm just writing yes no option you can see this one option okay after that we have to move to the this and here we if 
he selected yes it means that a, if the value of a is equals to the zero so in that case we have to perform delete okay so here we have to write okay uh, first we are writing try catch method in it okay catch to suppress the exception okay exception okay now here we are searching connection connection con equals con equals to connection provider connection dot hit con okay after that we are going to statement st equals to con dot create statement here okay create statement okay after that we have st dot execute update execute update here and here i'm just writing delete delete from buyer buyer where contact contact number equal equals to equals to okay i'm writing contact okay uh, we need to take first here a string okay we are taking the contact uh, we are taking number equals to j text field we are taking one dot get text okay now let me here write this and you can see contact number we get that after that we have to set a uh, we have to also set the visible or you can see we have to delete the data from particular fields so for that we are setting the visible false and we are setting the new visible delete buyer dot set visible true okay now now we also need to connect this our home page so for that we are moving here and here delete by going to the event and i'm moving to the action action performed and here i just need to write new delete new delete buyer dot set visible here i'm just writing true okay now let me run this file okay you can see let me click on this button it will load it one by one okay after that we are seeing the first details of this uh the number you can see one two three four five six okay zero that one is god of kumar let me delete that user one two three four five six seven eight nine zero okay let me click on search you can see all the details of that buyer I, you can see here let me click on delete and you get the message that do you really want to delete when we click on no you can see nothing happens we're still on the same page when we click on yes okay you can see all get changes and data has been removed from their particular files and it will also delete it from our database so let me search it again let me click on search you can see con uh, contact number does not exist you can see here message and when you want to remove this data you just need to click reset okay so you can see the field data is also get removed and there's a close button when you click on this it will close this application uh, form you can say that so this is all about delete buyer part of this okay and in the next video i just going to create for the new product when we click on this it will open a new zip frame and where they are getting option to add new products okay so stay tuned with us please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you